Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. What is up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we take a look at the upcoming legendary machine gun in Shadowgun Legends. Yes, we are getting a brand new legendary machine gun in the next update. Next update should be really, really soon. There was a mass stream yesterday and they said they were going or about to release the update 084. So what we know is when the update release, probably early next week, there's going to be a change in the road to Legends. Right now, the maximum rank in Shadowgun Legends is rank 20. And the road to Legend goes up to rank 20. And you claim your rewards as you rank up. Now, the announced change is, as you guys probably know, we can rank up 7 more times after 20. But it doesn't show. It caps at 20, but you keep going. 20 plus 1, 2, 3, up to 20 plus 7. Now it is confusing for a lot of players and they announced they will do it old school and you will see your rank go up now from 20 to 27 and you will see it on your rank next to your name. The same thing is gonna happen into the Road to Legends and you will now be able to claim a new legendary weapon when you reach 27. So today we got gameplay reveal, artwork reveal and stats reveal. So we're gonna take a look at it and we will compare the stats to the previously released legendary machine guns. So get ready to claim your... Idolan. What? Idolan. I had to Google it. I had no idea how to pronounce Idolan and I had no idea what it was. So it actually is a phantom or an apparition. So let's take a look at the... Idolan. Idolan. Now this is our first sneak peek the Eidolon legendary machine gun and you will see in the gameplay it has some similarities with the Revenant machine gun but the stats are not the same let's take a look at the stats now before we compare the stats with the other machine guns just a quick note it could change with the update these are the stats I got in a video screenshot but there's no guarantee that when the machine gun release it's gonna have the same stats but with just a few days before the update I'm pretty confident that would be the stats of the Eidolon. Let's compare with the Rev. The Revenant is one of the most popular machine guns for Gold Arena and pretty much all game modes. Revenant uh, has got lower damage than the new Eidolon, but faster fire rate. So Eidolon a bit slower, but more damage. Pretty much the same accuracy, same range, pretty much, but less bullets in the clip. The Eidolon's got 50 and the Revenant's got 80. Now compared to the Piledriver, Piledriver has the highest damage in the legendary machine guns. Eidolon's got 202, Piledriver 237, but Eidolon's got better fire rate than Piledriver. So you could say stats wise, Eidolon will be in between the Revenant and the Piledriver. And check out the clip size, same thing. Eidolon's got more than the Piledriver, less than the Revenant. So it's pretty much in between. Accuracy and range, exact same on the Piledriver and the Eidolon. I will still compare with the Chaser, but you already know where it stands right now. It's in between the Rev and the Piledriver for the damage and fire rate. Now, Chaser, of course, is already the fastest uh, firing machine gun in all legendary machine guns and it's got the lowest damage. Gives you an idea, now let's look at some gameplay. Now here we go, this is the Eidolon in action, and like I said, it looks similar to Revenant. The iron sight, pretty much the same. Uh, the sound, the firing sound, the reload animation, of course, but uh, the difference, I, I think, is the, the lasers. It doesn't seem like straight blue lasers. It seems like there's some waves, like sparks, uh, like if you're firing electricity or something like that and when the blast or the beams hit the walls or the enemies You see some sparks. I don't know if you'll notice but you see some kind of sparks Whenever the blast hit something so I did because I wanted to make sure uh, I, I'm pretty sure the revenant does not do that So I went back and did a blue operation with my revenant just to compare but it feels different It seems like it's different I see now this is the Revenant I just recorded right before uh, the video you see the blue blast when they hit the wall 
doesn't seem like they spark now same with the enemies when you hit them doesn't seem like it has the same sparks like the idolan has so i don't know if it's because of different quality settings on the two different recordings but it feels different now after they released the power driver i still went back to the revenant because it felt better in the arena i think or i feel like the bullets travel faster the power driver did good damage the problem is the bullets travel slow in my opinion so for long range fights uh it's not so accurate but i guess i have to play more this thing's gonna be awesome i think because it's in between so it has the speed of the revenant but it has more damage even though it has less than the power driver i think it's gonna be a very decent option for arena gameplay now once again uh don't bother with the numbers here because the gameplay was recorded with a uh, probably a low level account you see the bullets do like 90 damage 106 so it's not gonna be like that when you get your max level uh, idol in now one last comparison before I end the video is the yellow jacket we got on the previous event. I did play the yellow jacket quite a bit in the past week. I uploaded two videos with that lately and uh, it's pretty much the same stats 202.4. It's the same damage as the yellow jacket but it's got higher fire rate and five less bullets in the clip. I thought the yellow jacket felt pretty good honestly but the Eidolon is going to have 8 perks instead of 4 because it's a legendary. Now I'm kind of excited for that one for two reasons. First of all, for all the players that don't have Revenant because they don't do a lot of gold arenas or didn't get lucky, this is going to be free for everyone. You rank up to 27, you get that. So everyone will have a chance to have a decent machine gun to go farm some arenas. So that is awesome for that. Second thing that makes me excited is... I think the stats are awesome and I'm a Revenant fan so I think it's gonna be a good option. I cannot wait to try it. I cannot wait to do some arenas with the Eidolon. I'm a really big fan of machine guns. I love machine guns in this game so awesome that we got a new one. Now my only disappointment is the stats. I mean I like the stats but at the same time I was still hoping for something like the AT Cosa. It was my favorite machine gun in the game ever. It's the highest damage in all machine guns but it's super low fire rate and I love this type of machine gun. Anytime they release a new legendary machine gun I'm always hoping that it might be it but yeah I was disappointed with the PAL driver. Now they announce a new machine gun. I'm super hyped. Now we see the stats. Well it's gonna be an awesome machine gun, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm really hyped for that one. It's gonna be good. But I was still expecting maybe that one day we might get something like the Kosa. Just showing it again. But this is the Kosa. Like 290 the the damage and 305 the fire rate. So I don't know. I like this thing. I know it's not all you guys that like these slow high damage machine guns. But the thing is when you stack the damage and the multipliers with big numbers... You end up with crazy numbers and with all the perks we get on legendary items i thought it would be amazing so maybe one day guys it's not over but we got four legendary machine guns now and uh, i'm hyped to get that one so we'll have to wait a couple of days at least the weekend i'm guessing is gonna be early next week and at worst maybe at the end of next week but expect that one next week with the next update 084 in shadowgun legend once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the preview. Hit the like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guys, I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.